Hello my doves, welcome back to Have That by Olympia. Today we're going to be looking at the Hula Bronzer in the new shade Toasted. So yes, Benefit went there, finally. Now there is another shade that you can get in this, um, the new shade, which is called, I believe, Caramel. That one's definitely too light for me. So we are going to have a look at the Toasted shade by Benefit. Hula Bronzer, if this is what you want to see, I suggest you keep watching. From the top, oh, oh, drop that. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, you lay back in the cut. What's up? What's up? Hello, my doves. What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Athletic by Olympia. For my new subscribers, hello, hello, hello. My name's Olympia and I do videos here on YouTube about beauty and makeup available in Australia for deeper skin tones. So yes, I do upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Today's video, as I said earlier, is going to be about the Hula Bronzer by Benefit in the new shade Toasted. Now, some of y'all who are new to my channel, I am obsessed with bronzer. Like child my uh probably the one type of review that i love the most is bronzer so we're back at it again uh my face is ready for bronzer i cannot wait to get this beautiful color onto my face and see if it shows up but before we get into that let's talk a little bit about the bronzer itself so this bronzer is as i said earlier by, by benefit um they have had the Hula, Hula Light, I think yeah, it's just Hula and Hula Light, for years. Um, and people have been asking for deeper shades for a long time now. Now, I kind of am friends with a lot of the girls at my local Benefit Bar and um, Brow Bar, and they did let me know that there was going to be some deeper skin complexion items coming through this year. So, you know, the Hello Happy Foundation, which I have purchased and I'm yet to try, is on my list, guys. I have a lot of foundations that I still need to try for you guys, but yes. I, I've got two shades in the Hello Happy. Um, but yes, and the other thing that they said that, that was going to be deeper as well was the Hula Toasted, like the Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted. So I'm super excited to check this out. So a little bit about this product itself. The Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted is a deep powder bronzer for the face. It has the same soft, blendable formula and matte finish as the original Hula, but in a more deeper toasted bronze shade. It has a built-in mirror, it's got a powder brush, and for beachy bronze looks, all you need to do is sweep to the high points of the face. It has delicate notes of beachy, citrus, and sandalwood, in case you were wondering. Uh, this retails for $52 AUD and I bought it from sephora.com.au. Uh, in my humble opinion, I feel that there are two types of bronzing. There's bronzing that's basically a soft wash of diffused color around the perimeter of the face. And there's more of like a sculpted, warm, almost contour type bronzing where it's more targeted and you kind of pull it down onto your cheeks and you use a brush that's a bit more tapered that's the type of bronzing that i prefer because i do not contour i will um by all means go in with that second type of bronzing and i will kind of chisel out the cheeks a little bit with it so instead of having it on just the high points i will kind of bring it down just a little bit where the contour goes and use bronzer to kind of create dimension on my face i find that because i got such um like apple cheeks or whatever they're called, I don't know, high cheekbones um, and just the shape of my face. Mm, contour, I feel, looks odd on me. I don't know. If there's one thing that I want to learn more is how to contour for my face. But for today's video, let's, let's concentrate more on bronzing, clearly. Okay guys, before we get into application, we're going to talk a little bit about the brushes that I like to use. So the first brush that I like to use is the Morphe E58 Angled Contour Brush. This retails for $21 AUD from au.morphe.com. Now, I love this brush. It's really quite dense, so you can 
pick up quite a bit of product um, and it also deposits products like the powder really really well in a concentrated area make sure you tap off the excess when you use this brush because it does pick up quite a bit because it's so dense but at the same time it can buff really really well so you can actually use this brush to do both types of contour but I sorry types of bronzer but I like to use it to do a kind of chiseled bronzer look. The next brush is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. This brush is $24.99 AUD and it's available from Priceline, from Terry White Chemist, from where else? Basically all the chemists here in Australia. This particular brush, even though it's, it says blush brush, it's because it's got that tapered tip, it's really good at creating a kind of bronze contour look. It's able to deposit product quite precisely. Love using that one. The next brush is the Benefit Hula Bronzer and Contouring Brush, which is the brush I'm going to be using today with this Hula, you know, Benefit, Benefit Hula Bronzer, makes sense. So the Hula Bronzer Brush by Benefit is actually $42 AUD. It's available at Maya benefit.com.au or sephora.com.au or sephora in store so once again very similar to the uh, real techniques blush brush this also has that tapered top so you can get a nice contoured bronzer look now this the real techniques blush brush is actually a kind of a dupe I feel for the hula it has a very very similar shape and you do end up getting a very very similar look with these two this one's obviously cheaper by about twenty dollars compared to this one so these next little brushes are for that soft diffused bronzer look that look that's more sun-kissed and soft I like to do that type of bronzing I do prefer a more structured bronzing but this type of bronzing has its moments and there are three particular, particular brushes that I like to use to create that type of bronzer. So the first one is the Real Techniques Powder Brush. It costs $27.99 AUD from Priceline, uh, from Terry White, most of the chemists here in Australia. And honestly, it is such a good powder brush in general. It is a powder brush, but it picks up just the perfect amount of product. And, and it diffuses the product really, really well. You do end up getting quite a soft look with it. Um, can't go wrong with that brush. The next one is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Brush Number One. This does cost sixty-eight dollars AUD. You can get it from Sephora or Sephora.com.au. And once again, it's going to give you that airbrushed look uh, really really soft probably probably one of the softest brushes in the collections I'm showing you guys so soft so luxurious it does feel really nice to use but you're paying a bit more of a hefty price tag the next brush talking about hefty price tags is the Marc Jacobs the bronzer this costs $105 AED from Sephora or sephora.com.au and honestly it's probably my favorite brush other than the Morphe E58. So if I'm going for a diffused bronzer look, I will prefer to use this Marc Jacobs one just because there's just something about the way it picks up product so easy. You'll get a diffused look, but at the same time, you can actually still create a more tailored um, and targeted bronzer with this as well. Um, it's very kind of multi, Tasking, whereas the rest of the bronzers kind of do one or the other like the ones rest of the bronzer brushes Do one or the other type of bronzing whereas this one you can kind of get away with doing both of them I'm going to attribute that to the tapered point So yeah, very very good at getting a diffuse but structured look so yeah, those are the brushes guys. Let's now head into the demo portion of this video. I really need to get some bronzer on my face. Um, and in case you're wondering, on the eyes I have the Tammy X Revolution Tropical Carnival eyeshadow palette. I did a look using that palette. 
that video should have been up by now and i've also got a foundation that i'm wearing which is the revlon candid foundation in the shade walnut walnut is that right yeah walnut 540 i'm currently doing a wear test for that mm. all right let's get into it i'm actually gonna use the hula brush for the bronzer i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more and we can finally apply it to the face mm. all right so here it is there get rid of the brush i'm not gonna use that brush ever i don't think so going in looking at the product Off. Yeah, it's definitely working. So no bronzer. Bronzer. You can see it. Ooh. You guys, I really like it. gonna take this highlighter brush and just go along my nose. I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can get the full kind of effect of everything but definitely shows up it's a bit more of a subtle con um, bronze. Um, I definitely have other bronzes that are a little bit more on the red side. I don't feel that there's any red in this whatsoever. It's just like a nice deep toasted color so mm, all right so you guys back out again mm. i actually really like it guys i i like i like the fact that it's not red because i do have a number of red bronzers um in my collection and I, I I like something different. I will say though that if you are deeper than me, I'll just pop on the screen here my some of my foundation shades. If you're deeper than I am, you run the risk of this not working for you. If you're lighter than me, then definitely this will work for you. I think I can just like just get away with it. I'm gonna go in with my E58 brush, the one that's a bit more for like a contoured bronze. And I'm just gonna build that up a little bit. There you go. See how I kind of concentrated that a little bit more? This brush is so good at picking up and concentrating powders. So it's showing up a bit more. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not my absolute favorite. Like I'm not getting those real kind of bronzer feels that I normally get. It's more kind of like, mm, okay, yeah, it's, she's cute or whatever. You know, like it's not, I'm not getting my Becca Maui Knights redness. I think because there's no red undertone to it. I, I Let's just be real, let me call it, I prefer a red undertone bronzer. I just feel like it just looks so much better on my complexion. Uh, but you know, listen, if you are you know, afraid of the red undertones or you're not sure how it will work on you, by all means, go for the hula. I mean, it's not cheap, but um, you won't be getting those red undertones that I, I feel is kind of 
almost necessary for bronzers for deep skin which you know if you've got a red undertone, undertone yourself you're not gonna want a red undertone bronzer I could imagine so yeah you know it, it is what it is look I've been talking for some time now uh, let's call it a day I hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe like comment all that good stuff down below it does help my channel become a little bit more visible and yeah bring in some more support so yes guys or share with your friends let them know who this chick is who's on youtube doing her thing all that good stuff you know <laughs> anyway guys i love you all i will see you all in the next video take care bye